Yar! Welcome back, Nerd Castle, to the next episode of Man of War Corsair, where we are racing a Kislevite ship right now. Kislev is like way the hell out in the boonies. I don't even know if Kislev is on the map just yet, but Kislev is essentially, it might be inland too. I don't recall, but either way, crazy stuff happens in Kislev. It's the setting for several books. Don't really need to talk about it right now. I think Kislev is like the border kingdoms or something like that, too. They're like out in the boonies. Oh, yeah, we were tacking. We were trying to race with this guy. He's doing a pretty good job right now. He's got that wang-like protrusion on the front of his ship. I bet if our ship had a dick, we would go faster. I I'll bet you anything that's how it works. We're, wac we're racing him to new Ern's Crank or M's Crank right now. Which shouldn't actually be that difficult. The game does have some chugging, so if you're noticing frame drops or whatever as we're playing, just be aware every now and again we are going to get frame drops. That's just the way the game goes. We've got... Oh, hold on a second. Do we have orcs out here? We can hold down the G key, and then we can scan around. That right there is a busted-ass ship. We might be able to pull up next to it and search it. These tend to count as treasure nodes over here, and so if you're careful, you can get yourself some free stuff. We've got DeWog with Captain Dork DeBadden and the Big Splat with Captain Borgash. we got the Big Boss. We might have problems here. I don't know if we can handle them. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to try and steal this loot over here, and then we're going to cut hard to port. And we... Ooh. Well, what we'd really like to happen is we would prefer for the Cursed Sail to run into them. That would make our lives easier. However, I'm going to cut in this way. Yeah, there goes the first shot right there. That's going to be a miss. Orcs are not known for their incredible aiming skills. So we should be alright, but we are going into the wind right now, which is bad. It's very, very, very bad. Let me see if I can just barely... We're going to get a wind shift pretty soon, and it went ahead and it killed my speediness too. I'm not going to focus on fighting them, but what you got to watch out with the bigger orc ships is they have chase cannons, which are basically cannons on the front of the ship that they can fire at us while they chase us down. But the big problem you're going to run into is they've got these hook things that they can use to capture your ship, and it's all kinds of bad. Now, if I can shake them on the Kislev ship, we'll be good. However, we are inside their territory right now. Actually, we should be able to make M's crank without too many problems. My... Oh, shit, we've got zombies on board now, too. We have problems shooting zombies with my gat. There goes one zombie right there. I'm going to shoot that zombie. Oh, shit, they're everywhere. Dear Lord. Sweet Sigma, give me strength to destroy these abominations and send them to Moore's Gate. This is one of those times when less is definitely more. Did we get him? Oh, shit. The ah! Get this thing moving. Yeah, I was going to say the orcs aren't going to give a shit that we're fighting zombies. Throw the foul things overboard, lads, in case they think about getting up again. I don't think they do too much thinking. I think they just do it naturally. We'll need a few good lads to go down into the hold and see if anybody's left alive. It's a good thing we receive their payment up front. I've got to stop making that voice. That voice hurts. That also is going to give the Kislev shit a little bit of an advantage. Unfortunately, we did not shake the orcs off the way that I wanted to. I think I can about face a little bit. Our sails are looking a tad jacked at the moment. We've got the holy sails of Sigmar. Didn't you know? The holy sails of Sigmar. If I worked at a place that sold like Sigmar related holy goods, that's what I'd be like. It's the holy sail of Sigmar Sunday only. Come and get your hammers, your twin tailed comets, and your blessings. Those are actually natural too. Like those are a natural hazard. Other ships will fight with those and probably destroy them before we need to deal with them. If we kill them, we'll get a bonus from our kingdom of choice, but... For right now, oh, this might have been a bad choice. I think they may have tacked harder than we did. And in that situation, we're up to 39 knots right now. If I can just ride the coast, the wind should shift for us. The wind should shift. They're going to try and cut hard and go into port. Whereas we are going to cut it close, and we're going to try and go around that little tail of land right there. That's what's going to get us into trouble. Oh, the wind shifted on us hard. That's not good. Yeah, I know we're sailing into the wind. We're going to sort it out in just a second. We have full speed right there. we got the wind on our side. We're going to have to tack really, really hard in order. What is that right there? That's the Diestros, which is piloted by Captain Vela. Captain Vela is a pirate captain. That over there is the King's Cup. And we've got the Wayfarer on that side. 
The Cursed Sail is coming in right now. He's actually trying to make a gambit for the win. The King's Cup is under attack by pirates. Well, we're currently racing at the moment. I wonder if... Hmm, let's fire a shot or two. Come on. There it is. Give them a little bit of loving on that side. Oh, good. They're going after the ship that we're racing. That's absolutely fantastic. Good stuff right there. I like emergent gameplay. It makes me happy. So for M's Crank, we're going to need to go... Oof, I don't know if we're going to make this turn. We're going to try it, though. We have no choice. It may put us into the wind. Come on, we're taking fire. It's okay, though. I can live with that. Eh, we've got a semi-favorable wind right now. It's going to be a close one. However, our semi-favorable wind should allow us... Is the Kislevite ship shooting at us? I don't know who's shooting at us right now. That little ship is doing some serious damage, though. He's hurting us. He's hurting us real bad. Fired shallow right there. We should be all right. It's probably going to cost us most of our race winnings, though. How close are we to port? Hammer Chicken's coming in. A couple to the back side of their ship right there. Perfect. keep ourselves firing here a little bit more damage done to them don't know if it's gonna be helpful though and they've run aground we need to bring this thing into port like right now here we go right on the edge bringing her in cannot dock we're under attack that's not good well then my assumption captain we're too late the cursed sail has beaten us a new M's crank that was kind of a loss on a technicality. That was kind of a loss on a technicality. I don't know how I feel about that one. We are going to have to bring him around, though, and hopefully not run into that ship right there. I'm going to have to make a desperate gambit here because our ship is in bad shape. And what I'm going to try and do is I'm going to swing around the back end right here. We're going to kill the sails, slow the game down a little bit. Actually, we've lost our cannons and our crew. No! That was not expected. That's unfortunate, but that's just what you got to watch out for right there. That's what you got to watch out for. If you don't watch out for it, this game has random events. That was not planned right there. That's just a thing that happened. It's a thing that happened. And so anyways, we got to bring this thing back around. This time we'll probably try to cut. That was all kinds of bad right there. That was mostly the wind being against us for the most part, which then stirred us into bad territory. For whatever reason, the AI did not want to mess with the Kislevite ship, but they really, really, really wanted to mess with us. This time around, we got very, very favorable wins, and so we should be able to pull this one in a little bit more successfully. So, sails away. Something rotten in Kisla. Oh, yeah, I forgot. Basically, I should have taken zombies on board, too. That's probably the other issue that we just ran into. They might not try to attack right there, which I don't see why they would. As long as you're in the green, you should be all right. And that's a much larger ship than what we're piloting right now. That ship is our captaining, I guess, would be the better way to put it. But that ship right there, meh. That's a warship. It's not going to be able to outrace us at all. Let me see if we can hold a favorable wind here, and then we should be alright. This time we're going to try not to go through pirate territory. We're going to try not to go through orc territory. That was just one thing leading to another and just ruining our lives. It's okay, though. That's what saving is for. I'll call you back on board once we get near new M's Crank, alright? Alright, so M's Crank is off in the distance. There's not too many things to handle right now. We've had a fair wind pretty much the entire time. The music is bumping right now because I just dealt with the zombie attack, so... Everything is drastic at the moment, but I think we should be alright. It's a little bit of treasure out there. You see that beacon right there? That's going to be Flotsam from somebody else getting blown up, who is luckily not us. I did turn for a little while. I played last night with the graphics turned all the way up, and the game does look pretty decent with the graphics turned all the way up. You can get reflections off the water. You can get some cool stuff. But the game definitely has some engine-side stuff that just needs to be dealt with. I mean, it is what it is. The game is in early access, so obviously I think optimizations will probably come down the line. For right now, though, our quarry is back there. Not our quarry, I guess, but our foe. Ooh, and the wind has shifted yet again favorably. Well, that's the way the story goes. And as you can see, the wind, this actually serves as a very, very good lesson. In naval games like this, the wind is not your friend. The wind is definitely not there to help you. It can mess with your life if you're not careful. 
I'm thinking. We should be good. We should be able to race him. No problem. We come around the horn right here. New Emstrang's going to be on the left. We'll get our payday. We got our 500 crowns from the people that turned into zombies. They aren't going to need it where they're going anyways, so why concern ourselves with it? We'll hook a hard left right here. It looks like we've got some bad weather, but that's okay. We're putting into port. I would like an option to maybe... Ah, damnation. Your ship's faster than it looks, Captain. I'll keep my word so you'll get your gold. And so we got 1,500 gold crowns for that. Good God, that was like the easiest thing I've ever seen. All right, that's easy money going to us. All right, so now that we've gotten our payday, I suppose we'll go out and let's dock at New Emscrank. Let's see what jobs are available out here. Oh, in addition, let me see here. We have things on board that we can sell for reasonable amounts of cash. Yeah, so let's go ahead and we're going to sell off some iron because it's not too prevalent here. That's going to make us some cash. Meanwhile, what can we pick up here? They've got a lot of timber, but I don't think that's going to be very profitable. They've got a decent amount of tin, but not enough to where I feel confident about picking it up here. I'd prefer to see local production up higher than like 5, 10 in there somewhere. Food we could go after, but it's such a small profit item that I don't know if I want to. I know for a fact you can sell timber for about 100, but eh, not really worth it. Notice board. We've got a courier service. What do they want for courier service? Captain, the Burgermeister of Duemskrank desires a fast and well-defended ship to carry an expensive gift to the Baron of Norden. You should be paid handsomely, but scratch it, and the Burgermeister's hangman will be looking for an appointment. Bro, I've got a ship with cannons on it and shit. Are you sure you want to threaten me right now? These right here, by the way, with that face, those are going to be treasure... Those are going to be... I'm sorry. Those are going to be storylines that are largely tied... Ugh. Apparently, I've run into the dock. It's okay. Let's go back to Norden. We're going to solve this on off. Life is going to be good, I promise. Everything's going to be okay. Oh, we're being fired on. By whom, sir? The Vendetta, Captain Von Beck. All right. We're a little bit low on crew right now. And why does Captain Von Beck want to hurt me like this? Captain Von Beck is apparently just shooting at me for the sake of shooting at me. Who knew? We've struck him low, though, so I'll probably want to bring the guns up a little bit higher. We'll give him a nice little volley right there. I think we should be able to take him. He's got no... He's got no... Man, this sucks. He's got no anything on board, really. I mean, we're doing this simply for either a bounty... Or for just the fame of wiping out pirates here. And as much as I love wiping pirates... Getting into profitless fights is not something that I much desire to do. We're going to have to bring this back around, unfortunately. He's got us dead in the water at the moment. Put a couple more into him on that side. We are hurting his ship quite a lot, but he's going to start hurting ours quite a lot if we don't get the wind back on our side. Oh, man, he's got himself an escort ship, too. So that'll be funsies. We'll be dealing with two of these guys in just a moment. It's not the worst situation I've ever been in. He's got us led, too, unfortunately. Let's bring that towards the front end of his ship. Because if something's on the move, you got to aim towards the front of it. This dude over here, while we reload the other gun, I'll probably try to put one on him. Let's pull the cannons in slightly. And that looks like it was a pretty solid hit. Unfortunately, for right now, we're just trading broadsides, and... He's kind of got us outgunned in that regard. So my sincerest attempt right now would be to come in real close. We're going to take the wind right here. Give him a couple little shots, and that actually did a lot of damage. What I try to do is I try to wrench real hard on the wheel right when they fire. Give myself a little bit of room to play with here. Put one right towards the center. There it is, and it looks like we've actually scuttled her. 
Down she goes. She's sinking. Our first naval kill. Our first naval kill. And I'm feeling pretty solid about it. I'm feeling proud of myself right now. Wasn't expecting to win that one. Meanwhile, on this side, we can either... Ooh, we're taking fire from this gentleman, too. He's only got 10 crew. Give me the Diestros, huh? We're going into the wind, too. That's unfortunate. Curse the wind, curse the wind indeed, although I don't think it's going to help. You can curse it as much as you want. Bring the guns up and give them a shot right there. I don't know if we actually landed anything on that side. We're going to have to turn around, and we've got to fight with the wind here. Either that or retreat. There's also an orc ship over on that side. God, we got problems, don't we? Or is that another pirate? That's the wog. Okay, so that's a pirate. I'm sorry, that's an orc ship right there. We have to go to Norden. Let's go to Norden for right now, because we need the repairs anyways. And unfortunately... That ship has mostly got us beat into the wind. Let's go ahead and speed the game up slightly. I don't think that ship's going to be able to do much for a little bit. I mean, I could try to put something on her, but... I mean, I don't even know if we can make that shot. That's a really, really long shot right there. And by a long shot, I mean a long, long shot where the leading involved would be a little bit troublesome. I don't even know if our 8-pounders can make it that far. Can I put into port right now? There we go. I have your payment for the delivery, Captain. 500 gold crowns. Not a lot, but it's something, and it allows us to go to the docks real fast and repair. Basically, we just spent our entire paycheck. It's not that big of a deal. It's a little upsetting. There are other ships that we can get, and they've got, like, ridiculously huge guns on them. Like, seriously, these guns, they push the ship back when you fire them. It's crazy. They hurt like hell, but... It's a thing that's available. Meanwhile, I'm going to buy myself a repeating musket. I'm going to buy one for my sharpshooter. Oh, I can't do that yet. The repeating musket is pretty dope. It's basically the machine gun version of the handgun we already have, and it's not that expensive. It's an upgrade that I would recommend getting early on. In addition, we got to hire some more crew, so that's going to get expensive. And then finally, we wanted to go to the market so that maybe we could move some stuff around. We got, eh, they got demand right here. If it says local demand, it'll have a negative number. That means that they're paying... Buku prices in order to get you... Oh, they've got 10 over here. They've got 10 for, like, bargain basement cheap. Let's go ahead and grab that. Yes, please. And then we'll take that back out to the west. Oh, they got iron demand over here, too. That's a little disappointing. We could have made some money. All right. Let's bring this thing around, and let's teach this pirate ship a lesson. I think we landed a shot right there. Uh, tough one. We're landing like one ball on each round. Then again, they're not really landing much on us either. We've got to come about this way. Either way, oh, he's hitting our unarmored sides. I'm going to keep the game on two times speed, though, because this is a dangerous game we're playing, and either way, it's going to have to be played. Coming at your enemy like this, though, does give you an important advantage. It allows you to juke their shots. If you just wiggle the front of the ship back and forth like that, you should be able to wiggle out of the way of some of their rounds. Let's bring the cannons up. We'll give them a little bit of loving straight from our cannon ovens. Yeah, there you go. Bring that in. Let's come in for a little bit of a ship hug here. And if I stop right here, she may run aground. We'll swap sides on her just because we're not reloaded yet anyways. Slow the game down slightly because I don't want to play at this speed. She should be done shortly. Although she is doing damage, isn't she? Yeah, let's board her. Yeah, there we go. Just machine gun half their ship. Shoot him in the shins. I know he fancies a rugby career, but we're going to have to sideline that one for a little bit. And we're going to board their ship, take their stuff. There's no ship capturing or anything like that just yet, just so you know. I think they're going up to kill the captain right now, I think.
I'm gonna pop the bastard. If the ship will hold steady long enough, that is. Zero cargo on that one, so there's not going to be anything we want to look for. Where is Norden in relation to us? Oh, those pirates were bothering Norden. Okay, so technically we're going to have to come back here anyways after we got done with whatever it is that we were working on. Not too bad. Not too bad. Let's put into port. We'll get ourselves paid. Elector Count Theodric Gausser of Nordland kindly rewards you 1,000 gold crowns for hunting and killing pirate scum. Praise be to the Emperor. A thousand gold crowns and one favor with the Empire. That'll be nice. We picked up a bunch of tin. They produce a lot of... P yeah, I mean, they've... Technically, we could sell at a profit right here, but since they're so low on it... why? Oh, I bought here. That's why. Never mind. Let's repair the ship very quickly. Check the notice boards for anything good. Advisor to the Empire. A woman standing on a corner of the Harbor Master's office catches your eye. She's dressed casually, but looks around with much more confidence than you would expect from a commoner. When you draw near, she calls out to you in the accent of an educated Reichlander, trying not to draw attention to herself. Good day, Captain Bellbottom Bentley. I have heard of you and your ship's reputation. In my role as an advisor to Baron von Narath, many whispers reach my ears, and some of them may interest a sailor such as yourself. Yesterday, a ship of the Imperial Navy was attacked, and I left, ad and left adrift by a wretched greenskin fleet. There are a number of scrolls aboard the wreck, for which the Admiralty will pay a significant sum upon their return to this port. Very good, Captain. You'll be looking for the ship, the Brazen Albatross. You may encounter orcs in the vicinity of the ship, retrieve the scrolls, and return them here, and you'll be paid in gold. All that I ask is that you say you simply found the scrolls whilst exploring the seas. That seems a little suspicious. Like, why is there a specification for why I'm supposed to be explaining where I got something? Something shady's going on. It looks like our goal is out and over that way, though. Which, as luck would have it, appears to be more or less into the wind. So instead, what I might do is we'll cut out this way as our foe sinks deep into the ocean, goes to Davy Jones' locker, which is quite stinky. Davy Jones is not known for doing his laundry frequently. He needs to do it more actively. It would make life easier on all of us. The stink is real. I think we can search these right here. I think. I'm not totally sure about it. The search command is in the game, and you have to search for the scrolls on this quest, which I think is mostly what they're trying to teach you when you play. Let's pull up next to this then. And we'll raise sails. Slow her down. Captain! We found a long lost treasure chest. It contained 500 gold crowns. Good stuff. So apparently, whatever their black box was, or where do you keep the gold on the ship? Their treasury was still stacked. I would figure it would stay with the captain, right? Since he's the one that does like paydays and all that kind of stuff. He gives out all the treasure to people. Hurry up, you codger. Hey, who are you calling a codger? I'm the captain. You're not allowed to talk to me like that. I'm going to assume that you were talking to the bosun or something. They also make good, I don't know if you knew this, but bosuns make really good headphones. All their quality's gone down over the course of the last couple of years, but still. If you're looking for a head group of, oh, there's green skins over here. Then let's keep a weather eye, shall we? And there they are. And they're fighting with the Marienburg right now. That's going to work to our benefit. Back to work, you lazy dog. That's definitely going to work to our benefit. All right. The wind has shifted in our favor, so we should be able to engage with the enemy under very, very favorable circumstances. Is that okay? So we're going to go. We're going to try and do is we're going to try and snip off the tail of their fleet right now. This big guy right here. Oh, maybe not. Maybe they knows about us. They appear to have seen us. Alright, raise cannons. I realize that. I can see very, very well that they're firing at us. No whammies right there. So they've got a ram ship. That thing right there on the back end of the orc ship, watch out for that. It's not your friend. That thing is a hammer. What they do is they hit you with a hook shot and they drag you in. And then once they drag you in, they hit you with the hammer, and it's very orky. It's unfortunately orky. Oh, apparently I shot my own ship. So now my infamy has increased. Not good. But I think we might be able to deal with it. Let's deal with this guy. He's up close right now. And if I could sink him first, I'd feel better about all this.
Let's also make our best attempt to not get rammed along the way. Are we being boarded right now? Oh, we're being boarded. Okay, we're being waterboarded, literally. It looks like we're going across to fight with them, though. So I'm going to get up on the sideboards right here. I'm going to try to help as best as I can. Oh, there he is. Got him. And so that's going to be one orc ship down right there. That should give us a little bit of fame. It's got 14 cargo on board, which is absolutely fantastic. We're definitely going to want to come about... And we're going to want to loot that thing. Let's go ahead and... Oh, there it is right there. So we've got gems, we've got timber, and we've got tin on board. I can't see my clicker right now. So unfortunately, that's going to be what it is. There we go. I don't know where my mouse went on that one. It's probably due to the fact that it's hidden. Since we were in combat. The game is buggy right now. Just be aware, there are bugs and things that are going to happen. And so now we got to deal with the greenskins before we're going to be able to search for our quarry anyways. Looks like the greenskins have done a pretty good job of annihilating everybody who is not them. And that is what the orky boys do. That is what they accomplish. I do not want to be lined up like this. However, it looks like they're just shooting big rocks at me right now. Doesn't it? Looks like they're firing just big hunks of slag at me. How come we've no sound effects? That's a little bit weird. Ah, we sunk her. Good. And we sunk her before she had the chance to board us, which is always the biggest problem with orcs. They love boarding actions. They're always trying to pull that shit. The quest is completed on that side, so it looks like we've wiped out the orcs on this side. I'm going to try and swing through and grab some of this loot up off the ground from all these ships that have been sunk. We got three spices for the kill right there. Bring her around. Good. We got three iron on that side. Yay, I got our sound effects back, mostly by, are they boarding right now? Good, that's a good time for us to loot. And we gotta go into the wind, so it's not gonna matter anyways. I'm gonna be doing like a knot. A singular knot, but I want this treasure. It's important because it's gonna allow us to stock up on cash for future adventures. Meanwhile, the King's Cup has surrendered. That orc ship, the big splat. I'm not sure what's going on over here. It'll require further investigation. Got three more iron, four more timber. Not sure what's going on on this side. Apparently that increases my infamy. I thought I was shooting the orc ship, but... If I could sink the orc ship, that would save us a bunch of trouble here, too. Oh, she's sinking, I think. I don't know if you can actually shoot these things while they're doing a boarding action. It does look like she's taking damage. There we go. And so now we've freed the other ship, although she looks like she's kind of mad at us. That definitely looks like a red icon. She got no cargo, though. Maybe if I could just walk away, she'll let us off the hook. Maybe. We're going to have to attack. Oh, good. We got storms coming in, too. That'll be funsies. The things I deal with, amigos. The things I deal with for love of the YouTubeses and naval combat. Mostly just wind going in the wrong direction. We need to be, I think, that right there is what we're trying to get after. And once we get close enough, we should be able to search it. We didn't find anything, Cabin. Yeah, you got to be close enough. So if you're having trouble looting things, make sure you just get closer. You've actually got to be, like, right up next to it. I think what it does is when you use the search ability, it's like an AOE, basically. That searches your rough area that's around you. We're not on fire, are we? I kind of feel like we're on fire right now. He's on fire! Ah, well, such is life. Let's go over and get these scrolls, and then we'll head back and hopefully... I think that was a Kislevite ship anyways, so it shouldn't be too much trouble that we shot her. 
I know we're sailing into the wind. We don't have much of a choice right now. I can attack for it, but I'm being lazy. Woo! Apparently, it's shark time right now. By Manon's beard, did that woman set us up? I see no sign of orc ships unless the monster took care of them for us. No, I, I definitely think there were orc ships recently. I don't know if you recall that part of our adventure, but... There are other monsters in the ocean, by the way. There we go. Shoot the beast. Give it the eyeball shot of the century. I think we killed it. I think it's down. Yeah. It did enact a pretty hefty toll on us, though. We're not feeling so great. Oh, is it not dead? Where's it at? Oh, it's over there. Okay, so we haven't killed it yet. Let's swing back around. Yeah, there's other stuff in the ocean. There's like giant killer like Moby Dick whales and there's all kinds of stuff. This game is dangerous. It's very, very dangerous. So the Megalodon is dead. We gotta come back around because we've lost our heading in the excitement of almost being eaten by a giant shark. And it looks like the wind is shifted so that we're still kind of wrestling with the wind right now. Which will be funsies. Either way, though, we're out of time for this episode. My name is Splattercat. Thank you for joining me here for the next episode of Manowar Corsair in Warhammer Fantasy Battle Universe. I will see you all in the next episode. Thanks for stopping on by. How you doing? I'll see you all there. Bye, everybody.